Hi there. I just am popping in here with Jessica Riggs. She is a student inside the Evolve program, and I thought it'd be cool to bring her on and just, you know, talk to her a little bit about her experience so far. So thank you, Jessica, for taking time out of your day to chat today with us. So glad to be here. I'm so excited. Um, just thrilled to share what I can. Okay, perfect. Yay. Okay, so let's just, maybe you could share a little bit about like what made you join Evolve to begin with? Like what, what made, I know you found me online and you saw something probably posted social media wise, but what made you want to join? Um, so I'll, I'll go, I'm going to back just a little bit because um, October, November, December of last year, I had pneumonia. And I was just um, on top of everything else that I had going on having pneumonia and coming through that, I was desperate for change, desperate for things to get better. Um, and somehow I found Sarah um, on Facebook or Instagram or somewhere. And um, I started following her and um, she shared a post about her childhood. And I was just like, oh my gosh, so much of that resonated with me. So much of that was like, okay, um, that I can connect with that person and I can, she's been there, she's done that, she's walked, walked, and she got better. She, not just better, I don't want it to be, um, she healed, she evolved, she became a brighter light um, and she let that, um, let what had happened in her past stay there and live in the now. And that is what I wanted more than anything was to learn to live in the now. Mm -hmm. So you really wanted to, um, and, and then I know, I think we had a discovery call or something like that before you joined. And then you said, yeah. I know you said that you were, I know that you said that that call did something for you, but um, I know you said at one point you were a little hesitant to join at first, or there was like some fear setting in or something along that line, like even after, you know, after we spoke and like you knew the Evolve was launching and opening and things like that. Can you talk a little bit about like emotion and like what were, like what are, what made you pull the trigger anyways? Or like, what were you going through? Yeah, I mean, as a person, I, um, I want change. I affect, uh, you know, efficiently, well, I don't know about efficiently, but I work towards change. I work towards, um, you know, I'm not a person that's about being stagnant in life. I want to take steps forward every day. But when it comes to a commitment that um, I knew was going to require me to do something different, because if I didn't do anything different, I wasn't going to get anything different. And I knew that you were going to be holding me accountable and there was going to be other women in there. And I'm like, Oh my God. Um, hi, my name is Jessica. I'm a recovering perfectionist. So <laughs> that perfectionism in me is like, how am I going to, I was just scared. Um, you know, just what if I wasn't perfect at this? Mm -hmm. And, um, and that was, that was a little bit of the hesitation. What if I didn't, what if I did all the stuff, but I didn't become a different person. I didn't grow. Um, but then it was like, that's just crap. Mm -hmm. um, that is just crap keeping me stuck. And I'm done being stuck. I'm moving forward. So, um, and I think I actually sent this to you was, you know, I knew I would not be able to sleep until I went ahead and clicked join. Uh, I knew I had to do it. I had to look the crap in the face mm -hmm. and do it. Yeah, I love that. Um, yeah, it's... Um that's so true like what you said because it's like oh, oftentimes our fear is like okay well what if i do all this and then nothing changes or nothing happens or if i take this leap and then i don't get the results that i want or what if it worked for her but it didn't work for me and like all of these like fear fear based like like going back and forth weighing our options or hesitancy kind of things start to like get in our way and that's all ego really it's just trying to keep us stuck right that's really yeah. um Okay. So what would you say, like you, what would you say you've just noticed so far? I know you've been in the program. Uh, uh, well, first I, you mentioned the other girls in the program. So I wanted to just touch on that briefly. Um, how okay. do you feel about having the community around? Like, was it at first, did it make you nervous that there were going to be other people in the group or did, and then how did that set on, how did that settle with you once you joined? 
Yes. Um, you know, I, I did because I do have, um, and I'm sure many women, um, I'm not alone in this, um, have a little bit of, um, concern fear. I, I got a lot of fear y'all, um, <laughs> a fear of, um, fear of, you know, judgment by the other women or, you know, what if I'm way more screwed up than they are and they're like, hold up, what is up with this? Um, and that y'all, that is so not the case. We cheer each other on, we love on each other. We, um, and, and not just do we cheer each other on and love on each other, but um, we have a lot of, it's not the same experience, but there are similarities that we can relate to. Mm -hmm. um, and so um, I feel like the other women are just um, a massive bonus and um, to the healing and we yeah. help each other grow. Yeah, and I think that's important because we do need, I do feel that like having community around us when we're going through these things of other people that are going through similar things, at first it can be scary because you sort of feel like you're exposed and you're invulnerable. But once you realize yeah. that there's a support system there, that everybody has something going on and that we're all working through it together, my present self included, we're all on this soul journey, right? So there's no one that's not on this soul journey that's going through something. So I really feel like the support um, from the other women in the group is a key part of the healing process to be able to know that you're not alone in this journey and that there's someone there that gets it, even if it's not the same, like you said, there's like themes and it's no accident how we all get pulled together, sort of right. divine timing. Yeah. <laughs> It's a beautiful, beautiful, I have chills right now. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So. <laughs> Perfect. Um, what would you say, like, just so far you've been in the program a few months. Um, what would you say, like, your overall like, experience has been as far as what you've experienced, you know, either physically, emotionally, mentally, vibrationally, like, what's been going on for you? Um, everything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the synchronous is, uh, synchronicities were, like, almost immediate. Almost, like, popping up as soon as I hit join um there were just things there were affirmations saying you know letting me letting me know I, d I made the right choice um and I'm also gonna say <laughs> once you decide to make these changes the universe wants to make sure that you really want to make these changes um and uh and I'll say that even though I've had a lot of heavy assignments I'm still here. I hadn't tapped out. I wouldn't trade them. I'm so grateful for them. Um, so that strength is one of one of the um, not cowering in fear. Um, that's one of the one of the things. The um, being vulnerable, being real, being authentic, and doing me, not doing what I feel like other people want me to do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and also. Um, Sarah and I have discussed this, but um, there used to be a whole lot of, if someone asked me a question, the answer was, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Um, and, and it wasn't just, I'm saying, I don't know, because it, it was a genuine, I don't know what I want to do tomorrow. I don't want to know what I want to do next month. I don't know where I'm going or how I'm doing. I just know I'm moving forward. Um, and last week I had this massive a moment where it was just like I know I know I know what I want I know where I'm going I know how I'm getting there and <laughs> um and um and it's just I am an empowered queen damn it um so not this um little girl um and, and that's a huge thing um also um, physically I've been able, I, I knew some things were going a little awry and, um, with my body and, and doing this inner work, um, I was, I have let, been able to let go over 15 pounds in the last month and it's not, you know, um, I have had to cut some things out of my diet because they were not serving me, but, uh, it's not been a poor pitiful man. I can't eat that anymore. It's a, that doesn't serve me and it's not benefiting me. And I'm glad to know that and I can let this go. And so that's huge. 
Wow. Oh my God. I'm getting chills when you're talking about that. That is so good. That is, that is so good to be able to recognize, you know, to be able to step into that more empowered place and to know that even though you had to go through some mucky parts to like let some stuff rise and clear and, and heal, like a lot of people shy away from that. But looking back, knowing now what you've gone through, and it's not all crazy or anything like that, but like having a sense of gratitude for all of it that you wouldn't change a thing, even though like it's not something that people like when you talk about personal growth and spiritual growth, some people are like, I'm just, that doesn't sound fun. I'm not going to change. I don't want to, I don't want to do that. I don't want to change right now. Like I'm just, okay, we'll deal with this tomorrow. But it's like, it's always there then. It's like, once you take that step forward and you start to clear and heal, it's like, once you get through it a little bit, then you're like, oh, it gets easier. And then you're like, I just wouldn't trade any of those experiences because you become so grateful for everything that you're becoming. Right? Absolutely. Yes. And becoming, this is not a, um, this is a journey. I don't know that there is a, there's an end or destination or like, okay, check, I'm there. This mm -hmm. is a, this is a path that, I mean, I think I've been on my entire life, no doubt, but, um, you know, like really digging deep and, um, and being will, willing to, to do the hard stuff. Um, it's, it's been huge and I'm so grateful. Um, so. Yeah. And um, I've, I like that you touched on the fact that you've lost weight through changing your diet because it's really about coming into more of a holistic lifestyle. So I, I like the byproduct of like having this self-compassion and having more self-acceptance and owning your truth. And like, like you said, coming from a more empowered state, like, oh, I can't eat this now. It's like, no, it's like you really value your health on a, on a more, you know, you know, from the inside out kind of level where it, the changes are just something that you're just like sort of flowing with and it's coming into holistically more alignment. Um, so not just emotionally, but mentally, physically, energetically. And that it means clearing out all sorts of things that don't serve us, not just emotions and, and belief systems, but also foods and chemicals or whatever, you know, that, is just not in alignment with your highest version. Yeah, and I want to add with when with to that is we become so conditioned as humans, and I I don't know if women are more or less because I'm only a woman. Um, but um, as humans, I think we become so conditioned to feeling like crap to because of what we put in our body, because of what we surround ourselves with, um, kind of like the frog. In the, in the pot of water boiling. Um, we don't know what it feels like to feel good until we feel good. And so not being willing to give that up mm -hmm. is huge. Yeah. So. That's amazing. Um, so if you had um, like some advice for someone that's sort of teetering that like is in your old shoes where you were just wanting change so badly, but maybe they're thinking, oh, well, may I don't, you know, evolve as a monthly payment. Maybe they don't want to add a monthly payment or they don't want to, you know, dive in because the fear sets in. And so they don't pull the trigger that, you know, they do go to sleep instead of joining and that kind of thing. Like that they're teetering on that edge, but they know they're drawn. Like, what would you say to that girl? Do it. Um, do it. And, and not just do it for you. Do it because you deserve it. Do it because you're being drawn and you're being told because you know in your heart, you know in your soul, you just might not know that, that you're worth it yet, but you are. Um, and it's scary, but we're gentle we're loving we're not going to beat you up um we're going to support you um uh you know sarah will call bs if she, if you need it but she's only done that once and i needed it um and so uh but do it because uh, there there's power and strength in numbers um and um you know just just being around these women is amazing and also i'll say this that my husband who is um who's the penny pincher and he's like, oh my God, you just spent money on what? Um, he's like making sure every month that I'm still in this group 
because he says this is the best money we've ever spent because he's like Sarah is real Sarah has helped you Sarah doesn't cut any corners and she doesn't pull any crap she you know he sees the change in me and so he is all about that money going out the checking account every single month and and it would be worth more <laughs> um according to him um you know a single girl same thing it's, it's a big deal it's it's a small small fee to pay for what you get Thank you. I didn't know that your husband said that. That's amazing. I'm so happy that, oh, yeah. he, that he's he able to see, he's able to see the changes and like and so you're feeling, do you feel like and this will be we'll sort of wrap up, I guess, with anything else you maybe you wanted to add or like just in general, like your biggest shift, like outlook or your biggest perception shift. I'm worth it. Um I'm not, um, I'm learning who I am. I am learning who I was made to be and not, um, because before I was a master chameleon, I could blend in with anybody and do it just whoever I needed to be in whatever circle I was in, got it. Um, I would, I would sacrifice and, um, get rid of, what I truly felt. I didn't even know what I truly valued. I didn't even know what I truly felt was non-negotiable. And having that, having that standard, having that knowledge, having that, um, it, it's, it's freeing. It's not constrictive. It's freeing. It is, um, a, it's a beautiful, beautiful gift that I have given to myself through this work with you. Um, so, yeah, I think that's, that's probably the biggest thing is, is knowing where I'm going. And would you say that like, you can totally tell you're being guided on this journey once you join? Absolutely. I am not alone, completely supported at all times by, um, you know, God, universe, whatever it is that you, um, you subscribe to, whatever your belief system is. Um, and that's something else that I feel is very important is that Sarah has not tried to change my higher power. Um, my higher power has been honored completely. And I think many women might need to hear that, but, um, you know, um, I have, I have been supported. Um, I mean, from, like I said, almost immediately I was getting signs, um, and I still get them and I still get little, um, I call them God winks, um, where I just know. I know that he knows that I know that we're all good and that we're all working together. <laughs> oh, perfect. So. I love it. I love it. All right. Well, um, thank you so much for um, sharing all this with me. It gives me chills just to hear it. And I just am so grateful to be a part of it. And like, I don't know, it's just, it's just a beautiful process. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Thank you so much for allowing me to. And I hope that, um, Whoever needs to hear it, hears it because we we want you with us. We want you to come on and let us love on you. So. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Well, thank you. I will talk to you and thank see you soon. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.